Hallo. Yes, hallo. Ja, toch? Hoe kan ik help je? Why, I don't know. I got a message to call this number for Social Security. Okay. So, at what time did you receive the call? It was 12:30. And did you receive any kind of message? Yeah, it said there was something wrong with my Social Security and the call this number. And uh, but okay. I don't know what's wrong with it. Okay. So let me just introduce myself to you. This is Officer J. Bullen. What a part of the Chinese Casey. Jerry, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't hear your last name. It's my last name is William. William, okay. Yeah, and my federal batch ID is KC1137 from Legal and Investigation Department of Social Security Administration. Can you just hold me up with your first name and the last name, sir? Sure. My first name is Phil, P H I L. Mm -hmm. Packer, P A C K E R, Phil Packer. Okay, Mr. Phil Packer, the reason why we are trying to reach you is to notify you that there are some criminal allegations which has been placed under your social security number. So do you know anything about it? No, that's why I'm calling you. Okay, so Mr. Packer, the thing is that uh, right now, at this point of time, your social security number has been stolen and it has been misused. Someone is misusing your social information without your knowledge and without your permission. What are they doing with it? What are they doing with it? Yeah, yeah. I don't understand. They're misusing it. Sir, the person who is misusing your social, yeah. they are misusing it for the drug trafficking and as well as money laundering in the state of Texas. They need that, my social security number for that? Yeah. Huh. And that is the okay. reason. As this is your social which has been used, you are the primary suspect at this point of time. Oh. That's the reason why you are getting a call. Why am I okay? the suspect if somebody else stole my social security? I don't know what's going on. Because, because if your social which has been used at this point of time, Mr. Baker, yeah. do you understand that? Yeah, but... You said somebody else used it. Yeah. yeah, someone else is misusing it, okay? Okay. But since it's your information, you are the primary suspect at this point of time. That's the reason why we are giving you a call, so that we can help you out from this situation. Oh, okay. Because we have gone through your background, and we have found out that you have never committed any such crimes in your past. Right, sir? Well, I had a little trouble back in the 60s, but... I don't want to talk about it. Okay, and I believe this is the first time you're facing this kind of problem with the social, right, Mr. Baker? With the social, yeah. Okay, and can you just let me know, like, exactly where are you right now, Mr. Baker? Are you at your home? Are you at your work? Or where are you right now? No, I'm home. I'm retired. I don't work. You're home. Retired. Okay, so are you alone? Alone? Right now I yeah. am. Yeah. Are you alone? Yeah, my cousin okay. just stepped out. Sure. My cousin's here, but he went outside to feed the dog. Okay, okay sir, so like the information which I'm going to provide to you at this point of time is a very highly confidential information. Okay. And that is the only reason, like before I proceed any further, I need to make sure that, yes, you are the Mr. Baker. So in order to confirm that you are the right person, you need to verify me your date of birth, first of all. So can you just verify me your date of birth, Mr. Baker? Yes, 3-16-50. Hold on, hold on. It's, sorry, it's 3-15, right, sir? 3-16-1950. 1950, okay. And Mr. Baker, can you just help me out with your social security number, your nine digits of social? 086-10-1463. Okay, and Mr. Baker, like, I don't want you to disclose this matter to another third person because right now we don't know who the suspect is that is misusing your social at this point of time, okay? Yeah, yeah, I don't care. Okay, so just give me a moment so that I can verify this information on my system and once I'm done with my verification, I will give you out the information, okay? Yes. Okay, and like, have you ever applied your social through internet for the job purpose 
or anything like that? No. Why would I need? I don't need a job. Ah, okay. Okay, so right now what I'm going to do is that, Mr. Page, I'm going to provide you the information which I've got with me right now. But before I proceed any further, I want you to know that the line on which we are having a conversation right now has been federally recorded and monitored by the U.S. federal government. So I just want you to be genuine and I want you to listen you want, carefully. Oh, oh. You want me to be what? Okay. I didn't hear you. I, did, I didn't hear what you said. I want you to be genuine on this call. Be genuine? Just, okay. Be genuine. Uh, I will be genuine, whatever that means. Okay. Okay. So, um, Mr. Page. Yes. Like, apart from you, does anyone know about your social information? Well, my wife. <clears throat> your wife. Yeah, my okay. wife would know about it. I don't think my cousin Eddie knows anything about it. Okay, so let me just read out the three of it for you that I've got with me right now. So I just want you to listen carefully, okay? okay. Because it's a very highly confidential okay. matter. Okay, okay. Okay? Yes, go ahead. Okay, so the reason you were contacted today was to inform you regarding some legal enforcement action filed on your social security number. We have got an order to suspend your social at the very right moment because we have found many suspicious activities on your social. Okay. Your social, so, sir? Uh, but, go ahead. Yeah, you're interrupting me. No, I'm not, no, I said I hear you, go ahead. Okay, so your social, so your social security number has been found suspicious for fraudulent activities in the state of Texas. And as you have told me that you have never been to the state of Texas, right? No, I've never been to Texas. Okay, because we are taking this matter to the FBI headquarters, as we are having enough evidence to prove you guilty into the federal court. And the investigation started two months ago when we found an abandoned car on the south border of Texas, and the car contained some blood and drug residues inside it. Dead. And after further investigation, we found out that the car was rented on the name. Oh and on your personal social information. Why would I rent a car? Sorry? I got a car. I got my own car. I don't need to rent a car. Okay, just listen carefully, sir. Do not interrupt uh, okay, me. I will but, give you a fire. But I don't answer, need okay? to rent a car. I have a car. Just listen. And after further investigation, we found out that the car was rented on your name and on your personal social information. There are two addresses linked with the title of the hate. Yeah. The one okay. address in the city of New Mexico was right by the U.S. New Mexico? Marshal. I thought it was Texas. Just listen, sir. Okay, but you, the you're one getting address. me mixed up. I told you, there are two addresses. Okay, two addresses. I thought it was you know what Texas. You mean by two address? Yeah, but you said they were in Texas. Sir, I'm telling you that there are two addresses. Two. two. You okay. know what? What is two? Yeah, I know what two is, okay, yeah. So the, one address is, so the one address in the city of New Mexico was read by the U.S. Marsh, but unfortunately there was no one inside the resident. So we have received 22 pounds of cocaine, which is Holy an abusive drug, and some documentation various financial institutes, such as Chase Bank, Bank of America, and U.S. Bank. And all the paperwork has your name on it. And My name? of dollar has been wiped. Yeah. Huh. And thousand of dollar has been wiped from this bank account locally and internationally, which totally seems suspicious to us. That is the reason we as a Social Security Administration of the state of Texas has filed a case against you for drug trafficking and against as well as money laundering. Against me? As we are having, yeah. So as we are having a very short period of time, as this matter is going to register into the federal courthouse, and what you have done was totally against the law of United States. I didn't States do it. I didn't do it. You said I didn't do it. Listen, sir. Let me just complete my thought. Okay. Okay. Let me well, just I, I just my don't get it. You said I didn't do it, and then you said you, I did do it. I, uh. So let me just complete my part. I'm getting so confused. Have, okay, go have, ahead. We, so we have to sign an arrest warrant against your name, 
Oh. And we have to trust. And your social at the right moment. You, but then we are giving you a call because we have checked your background and we have found out that all your past banking statements contain gender records and you have ne never committed any such crimes in your life. Well, there, right, well yeah, back in the 60s there was a little trouble. I had a little problem. Yeah. But in then, Reno, I yeah, shot a man then, just right to watch him die. Have, but yes. I went to Folsom. Okay. Uh, Okay, that is the only reason we try to reach you before okay. we take any legal course of action and okay. you get arrested. I don't so want to get you arrested. Are okay. So if you are agreed to cooperate with the Department of Social Security Administration in this case, then only we can put your case and arrest warrant on hold, as we have to find a male suspect who has used your personal information towards this fraudulent activity. So right now, as I already told you, if you are agreed with us, then only we can help you out from the situation. Okay, yeah. Hey, Polly, Polly, quiet down. Ah, oh, that bird. Okay, go ahead. Oh. Okay, so do you have any doubt or any question that you want to ask her? Yeah, how can you say it's me when you said it was somebody else? I don't understand how it can be both of us. It seems okay, to be that it should why, be one the or the other, not both. Listen, the reason why I'm telling you is because this is your social information which has been used at this point of time. And as I've already told you, you are the primary suspect, okay? But you said I wasn't. You said somebody was using it. Yeah, yeah, it has been misused by someone else. But well, then how am I the main suspect? I. You are the primary, you are just an identity theft, right? Oh, yeah, if I'm a victim of identity theft, then I can't be the suspect, too. Yeah, yeah sir. I so can't be both. You don't need to worry about it. You, so you don't need to worry okay. about it. We will help you out in the situation. If, okay. you only, if you are willing to cooperate with us in this case. Okay, well, we got to do. Okay, right now, if you are willing to cooperate with us, then I can transfer this call to one of my senior supervisors. And he will help you out from this situation to remove your name from this case and to get the real culprit, whoever it might be, okay? Well, yeah, I want to get the real culprit. I don't want to get blamed for it. Okay, and can you just let me know, like, uh, you told me that you are all alone, right? Yeah, there's nobody here right now. Eddie's out with the dog, walking the dog. Okay, you were wife... telling someone to... Yeah. I what? Uh, sir, like you were telling someone right now to stop, right? Who was she? It was my bird, my parrot, Pally. 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 Your bird can talk. Yeah, it's a Your parrot. Your bird can talk, huh? Yeah, it's a parrot. It's a parrot. Okay. Oh boy. So yeah. make sure that make sure that you don't disclose this matter well, to anyone. Well, Pally's uh, not going to tell anybody. Yeah, so make sure that you don't disclose this matter to another third person, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, and Mr. Baker, can you just help me out with your current zip code? My zip? Yeah. yeah. 13118. Okay, so just stay connected so that I can transfer this call to one of my senior supervisor and he will guide you further, okay? Okay, okay. Thanks for being holding the line and thanks for your patience. The line has been transferred to the senior officer, Danny Cooper. How are you doing today? Okay. It sounds great. Okay, and I believe I'm speaking with Phil Packer. Phil Packer, yes. Yeah, okay. So, Mr. Phil Packer, uh, can you grab a piece of paper handy with you so before we go for the further, you can write down information? Yeah, I got one right here. I was writing down the other stuff from the other guy. For Jerry. Okay. Uh -huh. So you can write on the first name Danny, D A N N Y. Yeah. Cooper. And my last, yeah, Danny Cooper. Um, you can also write on a beach ID number that is KC, like K, like in Kilo, C, like in Charlie, uh -huh. 73312. Okay. Okay. Now, Mr. Phil, can you tell me that uh, currently are you at your home, your friend, with your family member? Home? Retired. Yeah, so. Okay, and um, Mr. Phil, I just want you to stay alone where you can be at a private place and no one will be around you. Well, my cousin, no Eddie's here. He, he, 
brought the dog out for a walk, he should be coming back. But uh, you have to be stay alone because uh, I don't Well, how am I going to stay alone if he comes in the house? What am I going to do, lock the door? You can he lives here. To the he park. lives with me. I'm sorry? He lives with me. What am I going to do, lock him out? Okay, he lives with you. But you just have to make sure that uh, he won't be know that uh, you are on call with the Social Security Administration. Well, well I don't think he cares. Care. Uh, I don't think he really cares. Okay. Because this is a highly confidential matter, and we don't want to disclose this matter to anyone. No. And can you tell me, are your cell phone is on speaker? Am I can what? Can you turn off your cell phone? Am I, I can't hear first you. Of all, huh? Yeah, first of all, can you turn off your cell phone speaker? I'm on a Bluetooth. I'm not on a speaker. Okay. Uh, now, uh, I believe you understand each and everything which my officer explained you. That well, something to do with a car rented in Texas and cocaine and mm -hmm. two places in New Mexico and some other... I don't know what it's about. It ain't got nothing to do with me. See, right now, the reason why we are giving you a call, let me tell you. Okay. Because of this one, um, uh, like uh, many suspicious that has been with, uh, oh, well. with the social there, uh -huh. your information, and there is a frozen activist that has been, and as well, my officer already explained you that. Yeah, he uh, told me all that, yeah, longer. thousands of dollars and bank accounts and all yeah. that other stuff, but what's that got to do with me? I don't have thousands of dollars and so, various bank accounts. Um, I believe, you know, that this is a recorded line and the little line has been recorded by the Federal Court of the U.S. Treasury Department and the Social Administration and the Homeland Security Force. Yeah. So each and every single conversation, what you have done with my officer and for father, it's all going to be recorded. Uh, okay. And as you know, Mr. Perk, uh, this uh -huh. will be the only proof that you can prove to the court has that you are not involved in this case and you don't have any intention to defraud the U.S. government. Okay? So whatever you say, you have to be truth and honest. It's like what? Right? Whatever what you, you say, you have to be truth and honest. Uh, okay? I will, I will. Why wouldn't I be? I didn't do anything wrong. I appreciate it. Now, uh, over this quarter line now, we have to cross-verify all the information which we got. Okay, because over here we have found more than 17 bank accounts. That's what the other guy said. I haven't got, I got one bank. Um, there is a lot of R25 credit card which has been registered under your name. Uh, but can you make sure that uh, how many bank accounts you have right now? Got one bank account. One bank. All right, so you got only one bank. Can you tell me the name of the bank where you're dealing right now? Teddy Bank. Okay, and um, do you have both seven and checking account with the TD Bank? Yes. Okay, and can you give me the approximate amount, how much you have in your checking and how much you have in your seven? Yeah, probably a thousand in the checking mm -hmm. and thirty five hundred in the savings. All right. And do you have any joint account apart from this, like with a family member? Any oh yeah, this is account? a joint account with my wife. Yeah, she's on it. I okay. can't cut her out. All right. So this is a joint account, right? Yeah. With a Titty Bank. With a Titty Bank. Yes. Oh. My wife Sally mm -hmm. Sue, she's on the account, and me. All right. Sally Sue um, Packer. How, all right. And how much, uh, like, credit card you have on? How much credit card I own? I, I don't know what yeah. that means. What's that mean? How much How much credit card you have? How much credit card I have? I got one. Yeah. I got a like, Visa. Well, like, like one credit card, two, three, or more than oh, that. Oh, no, no. I only got one. I only need one. Okay. And can you tell me the name of that Visa? Credit card? Visa. Okay, and what's the approximate, like, or what's the limit that you have? 5,000. And how much you have used, and how much is available? 5,000 available. I haven't used any of it. I paid off every month. That's how they, they get you on that interest. So I paid off every okay. month. Mm -hmm. um, do you have any, like, IRA account? Nah, nah, nah. Or for nah, nah, plan? Nah, nah. All right. Uh, I used to work on a fishing boat. My retirement is not that great where I would get an IRA. I was the master bader on the uh, fishing boat. And uh, mm -hmm. it's, uh, I mean, I get a little bit from the master baders union plus my mm -hmm. social security disability because I have PFD. Okay, I'm um, currently like, uh, you have your own house or you- Yeah, I got my own house. Member. I owned it for years. Yeah, I got yeah. it. 
Yeah, I got all this stuff. Okay. So you have your own house, Yeah, right? yeah. Okay. And how many car we have call you have under your name? One. Can you tell them the name of the car and the make of the model? Yeah, 2017 Hibachi. Okay, and um, in your past, have you ever like uh, visited a Texas or New Mexico for any kind of uh, like vacation to meet a friend, family members, or uh, for the? Well, no, uh, I, I I got a friend in Texas, mm. but uh, he mm. wouldn't have my social security. Okay, and um, in your past, have you ever applied your information through online to get a personal loan, any kind of uh, online shopping? My social security, why would I need that for online shopping? No. You know, like any kind, any kind of your information, about personal information. My credit card, I buy, usually, stuff, I buy stuff online with my credit card, buy mm -hmm. various items. Okay, um, have you ever applied for your personal loan through online? Nah, I don't Just go for them, I don't go for them personal loans. No, no, interest is way too high, I don't go that way. Okay, nice. Um, is there anyone who knows your information apart from you? Is there any person, third person who knows your well, information? Well, my wife, or Sally Sue Packer, she knows it. My cousin Eddie, he yeah. might know it, but I'm not sure. All right. Now, uh, in this case, uh, Mr. Peel, I'm not saying that uh, maybe from your family members or your friend, your cousin, or whoever. But as you know, that uh, we have a suspect of each and every single person that who is nearby you. You okay. think it's somebody but nearby you know, it's, me? Uh, yeah, maybe you know, it's a neighbor from your family member, your friend, your colleague. There's okay, a for me, ben, please. Geez, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know who it would be. I don't people. know who it would be. I mean, if there was somebody I but knew, it what? seems as though I know. I mean, they'd have a lot of money from the drugs and cocaine. So right now, I'm not blaming that. Uh, it may be from your family members, it may be from your friends, same person, social admin, whoever. I'm not blaming anyone. But no, I don't you know, blame anyone. Suspect, unless unless it, we know who it is, I'm not blaming nobody. Yeah, and we just have to find out the real person that who is using the information for all these fraudulent activities right now. So that is the only reason we just need to 100% cooperation in this case. With the help of your cooperation, with the help of you, we can find out a real criminal person. How are we going to do we that? Arrest them. Yeah. How we can go ahead and do that, I will explain you with a okay. step by step as a procedure. Okay. okay. So you just have to be listening to me very carefully. Okay. Now, first of all, let me tell you that um, in order you to cooperate with us, what you have to do, you have to be confidential about this case. Yeah, because he told me that like that six times. I know that. As you know that this is your personal information, so once it gets leaked or once it gets used by someone else, then automatically we have to go ahead and suspend your social right away the same moment. And we got an order to do that. But uh, You can't suspend you my social do... security. Is that what you said? No, we got an order yeah. to suspend your social right away at the Why? same moment. I get social security disability because I got that PFD. PFD I got from being on the boat. Okay, so uh, first of so all, I get social security thing. disability. I know that you told me that you got to receive in the well, ages, I know I, well, I, well, I got I got that postpartum postpartum depression, and I get oh you can't take that away. That's yeah. part of what I live on. Okay, so what I mean is that I just want you to listen to me first of all. Just listen to me very carefully. Oh, okay. Okay? Okay. Don't interrupt me now. Don't interrupt I'm me. I'm getting me upset. I'm getting upset. Can... The PFD is kicking in. Go. Okay, go ahead. Okay, now. Nah. Yeah, but as you are the citizen person of this United States, we check your past record and we just count to know that you don't have any bad records in your past or you don't have any... Oh, well, I shot that guy in Reno, but that, that don't the... count, I guess. Okay, go ahead. So that is, only, that is the only reason we are trying to give you this opportunity so that before we go ahead and do that, any legal consequences, any legal action under your name, you can go ahead and secure your money, whatever money you have under your name, and you can save your Sale, okay, so you can be stay safe and secure in your future. Now, as we are told you right now, we got an order to suspend your social right you away. I told you moment. you can't do that. 
I, I get Social Security disability do, for exactly. postpartum depression. I, uh, do you so understand you what that receiving. does to a person? Oh, boy. Okay, so will you just listen to me, Mr. Pierce, first of all? I'm trying. <laughs> Don't don't interrupt me. Uh, uh, I'll play that, but don't interrupt me. I I, I agree with about you, but I don't want you to interrupt me because if you don't listen to me very carefully, then you will think that we will assume that we are going to do any uh, something wrong with you. But we are not going to do anything wrong with you. We won't face you. I won't let you face any kind of that situation. No. Okay. Because you know that right now someone is using information, but so that is the only reason we are going to suspend your social and we are going to provide you the new social, okay? Okay. So once we sus uh, provide you the new social, whatever you are receiving, like the vanity, the SSI, or whatever is doing okay. with your all social, it's all going to be remain same. Nothing will be changed. You will receive the benefits. Or whatever PA, uh, like you told me, or what? Right, I get disability P for PFD. Okay. Yeah, PFD. Right. So whatever it is, it will be remain same. Nothing will be changed. You will see the SSI at the same time, at the same month, at the same day, at the same death. Okay. Whatever it is, you will see. It. So you're gonna have to worry about. It. So that is what I've told you. That first of all, listen to me very carefully. Okay. okay? All so right. you can understand the procedure of how it works. Okay. You don't have to be maybe like frustrated. You don't have to be worried about it. That you I, don't, don't, I don't want to get confused. Okay. okay. Yeah. So you, and I don't want you to get confused no. with the procedure because we are here to help you. Okay. okay? Well, the government. So yeah, I, they I'm, are I'm, to help. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So and as you know that we don't want to face any of that kind of situation at this point of age. As you know, that's right now you can't be able to work or go to the job or anything like that. And if you don't didn't receive the new social, then it will be difficult. You will be, it will be difficult for you to survive. Okay? So that is what, what we're going to do is that. Yes. Before we go ahead and sustain your all social, what you can do is that you can secure your money, whatever money you have under your name. All right? way to keep them safe and secure with you and once we provide you the new social at the meantime you can redeposit all the amount whatever amount you have into your bank same account redeposit it's already in that. there it's already in there why would i redeposit it it's already in there all right now yes and the, let me tell you that right now okay the arrest warrant has been issued under your name Okay, the arrest warrant has been issued under you now. That's what the other guy and said. Order, and I don't understand yeah, how so, it could be for me when you know it's somebody else. So, um, in order to go ahead and cancel your arrest warrant, that's not an easy. So that we can simply go ahead and cancel your arrest warrant. Okay? Okay. First of all, what we have to do, we have to suspend your social. Then after that, we can go ahead and cancel your arrest warrant. But... As you know that Eddie, once Eddie, you Eddie. Okay, go ahead, that guy. All right, but but as you know that once you suspend your social, at the meantime, all your receipts, whatever you have, it's all gonna be seized. Okay, it's all gonna be seized. So what? All right. Yeah. Yeah. What's this noise? Oh, uh, there is a lot of noise. My cousin Eddie, he's fooling with the bird, the parrot. So, and um, as like, like I told you, once you suspend your social, at the meantime, whatever money you have in your checking account or in your saving account, you won't be able to use that. All the money will be seized yeah, and yeah. seized by the U.S. Eddie, 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 let that stop out. Okay. Jesus, that guy. All right, now what? Okay, no. So let me repeat one more time, okay? Yeah, let's you do that. Have, uh, no, you know. That's okay. awful confusing. So what I'm here. Saying is that, Plus, mm, I got this PFD. So once, we go, once we go ahead and sustain uh -huh. your social, at the meantime, all your receipts will be seized by the U.S. government, and whatever amount you have in your checking account or in your saving account. It's all going to be seized by the U.S. Treasury Department. What are you going to seize okay. my money and for? You, so once we do that, all your money will be 
purchased by the U.S. Treasury Department. And if you want to claim that amount, then it will take you like uh, two to three months to claim that amount to the U.S. Treasury Department. What am Department. I going to do for money? And two or mean, three months. So, so okay. Just listen to me carefully. Don't talk with. Me. Don't interrupt me. Okay. Well, I'm mad. Now, I'm confused. I'm mad. But, so if you don't want to wait for the two to three months, then what you can do is that you can secure your money, all right? You can secure your money to the U.S. Treasury Department for uh, like for 24 hours, okay. okay? For 24 hours, you have to register that whatever amount you have in your checking account or in your okay. saving account. Do I do that Department. online? Online I can do that? Yeah, so to make sure that whatever money you have right now, that's not the black money which you have. No, I don't want no black money. Yeah. That's the money which okay. you have on by your green money. You yes. have to okay. Yeah. You have to register whatever money you have to the U.S. Treasury Department. Now, once you register that amount to the Treasury Department, they will go ahead and register that whatever amount under your name, and they will forward all the application, all the forms to the U.S federal courthouse, they will go ahead and make an appointment, they will register that amount under your name, okay, and they will go ahead and make an appointment to your nearest social administration office, the officer will come at the doorstep by tomorrow morning, okay? Come at whose doorstep? And they will provide... My doorstep? Yeah. Yeah. So, tomorrow Why? morning what you have to do, you have to show the registration PIN number, okay? Where do I get this you have number? To show the registration yeah, you have, once you just where, where am I going to get this register, number? Uh, where do I get this number? Okay, once you register the amount to the U.S. Treasury Department, the U.S. Treasury oh, Department boy. will provide me the registration PIN number, and I will provide you that PIN number. Okay. Okay. So the what are, give me the numbers. Complete. What are the numbers? Give me the numbers. Mr. Phil, can you just listen to me first of all? I, you said you're going to give me the numbers. My PFD is kicking in. No. You got to tell me what the numbers are. Okay. Okay. First of all, you have to register that amount to the Treasury Department. Okay. Tell me how. All right. Now, uh, at this point of time, you can't be go out. All right, for to go here and there, or you can go to your bank. I can go here go and there. What? What? Do you, what? Uh, can you just listen to me first of all carefully? Can you just listen to me I'm very trying. carefully? I'm trying. So don't, all right, don't interrupt me. I what got... I'm saying is don't interrupt me. Got... Okay? All right. I'll tell you many times to not interrupt me while I'm proceeding for information. Or while I'm giving you the information. Don't interrupt me. Just for the moment, I will give you a chance to raise your question. Well, After tell that, me what, all you got to do is tell me what to do. I mean... <laughs> okay. In order to register that amount in your account, what if you can, if you have a car, if you can, uh, you, what you have to do, whatever money you have, you have to load it into the digital currency card. Okay, that's called a digital currency card. Digital if you want, you can write it down. Card. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Now, Okay, now that's called a digital currency card. Got it. Okay. What you have to do, whatever money you have in your seven or checking account, you have to load that in, amount into the currency card. Okay, you're going to send me the and currency card? That, what do you do, mail it no, to me? In, in order, no, in order to convert that money into the digital currency card, you have to go to the government certified store. I can't go okay? to the store. You have, okay. Then if you can go to the store, you can just do one thing. You can always have an option for you. Okay. Okay. All right. So what you have to do, you have to download. All right. You have to download some application. Okay. Okay. You have to download some application on your cell phone, so where you can transfer or where you can load, register your money to the treasury department. Because each and every single customer, they have their own locker. A locker. Yeah, maybe you know Where's the locker. my locker? Yeah. So you have to activate that and you have to send, register your money to the treasury department. Okay? Well, why don't I just leave it in the bank where it is? I, it just seems like an awful lot of work. So, um, can you just tell me which cell phone you are using right now? What do you mean? Samsung. Okay, uh, 
hopefully I believe that you have a Play Store where you can download the application. Yeah, what's the application called? Yeah, can you go to the Play Store that I can give the name of the application where you can install it? Once you open a Play Store, just let me know, okay? Okay, it's open. It's open. Okay, now what you have to do, you have to type over there, Cash App. It's C-A-S-H, like... Uh, Cash App. Charlie? Cash App. Yeah, Cash App. Okay. Okay, it's downloading. Oh, wait. It's not downloading. There's something wrong with it. Can you see the Cash App? It will be the dollar sign with a green color. Ah. Are you at the Play Store? Oh, jeez. No, I can't get to it. It won't open up. How long does this take to download? I'm sorry? How, how, it's downloading, but I don't I don't know what to do with it after I download it. I will get you once you install it, okay? So you just have to install first of all. Okay, I got it. Through. Okay, okay, it's open. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Okay, what you can see over there, what you can see in the apps, once you download it. I, I see a Ben Chode. Uh -huh. a ben, I see a Ben Chode, a Ben Colodi, mother fucking scamming bastard is what I see. Did you hear me, stupid? I'm sorry. So you can just do one thing, uh, you can just download that and put that apps, alright? Put that apps, put that apps, or your wife proceed. Oh, really? Is that all you got, stupid? <laughs> you fucker.